in light of you know God's explicit instructions in the Old Testament about uh, the Sabbath being uh, Saturday, uh, are we authorized as Christians to switch it to Sunday? This is obviously a keen uh, question and one a question of conscience for some um, uh, Christians today and Christians in the past. Uh, especially we think of our brothers uh, uh, in you know Seventh Day Adventist traditions that uh, want to be uh, as a matter of conscience. Um, want to, if it says Saturday, then we'll, um, we'll observe Sabbath on Saturday. Now, in the uh, early church, initially, of course, they, there was a kind of Jewish Sabbath observance, Saturday observance, alongside Sunday worship. We talked about Pliny's uh, letter to Trajan, who talked about, you know, this pagan governor, what is it the Christians do? They rise on the first day of the week on Sunday. They sing a hymn to Christ as God. They, they worship Christ on, on Sunday. And so I think what happens uh, over the course of the uh, history of the early church is, uh, is pretty soon the consensual tradition, the consensus of the church is that, um, is that uh, like other aspects of Jewish ceremonial law, the, uh, the tying of Sabbath to Saturday is um, something that is transcended by the significance of Christ. Not, not the principle, the moral law principle of resting one day a week, but what happens and what has appeared in Christ is so radical that the, an the weekly anniversary of the resurrection, in, in a way it's like the earlier question about how Christ fulfills Sabbath, there's a recognition that, um, that Sabbath, Sabbath observance is tied to the Lord's Day and to the first day of the week, to the eighth day of creation, to the new thing that has happened, and to the, the future that's broken into the present. And uh, and so that becomes really the even though there are uh, groups within the church uh, from time to time that continue to uh, practice uh, Saturday, I think the consensus tradition becomes that it's um, it's the Lord's Day. I think one of the other indications of that is Mark talked about the way in which the regulations around Sabbath, um, the in the Holiness Code in the Old Testament, the regulations could get very specific, but the regulations around the Sabbath are not are not uh, high, highly specific in the same way. I think the other thing is that there, there's a clue perhaps in the fact that there is not, um, even in terms of the created order, there aren't actual uh, solar, lunar, circadian rhythms that tie us specifically to Saturday, where there is this principle of one, one day a week, a principle of resting uh, after working. I uh, I don't think there's uh, even clues in a sense that Saturday uh, is the day uh, for Christians to to rest. The principle that is, where there's continuity is of resting one day in seven. I think.